Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So last week, I let you know that Microsoft had rolled out the follow-up update to KB5033441, which caused a whole lot of issues for users earlier this year, with KB5048239, which was an update that installs improvements to Windows recovery features, WinRE for short, because it's a scared update for Windows 10. And that video will be linked down below in the end screen if you'd like more info. Now, just to let you know that there are reports doing the rounds online and also there are user reports on a couple of different forums that 5048239 is call it causing installation failures once again. And if we just head over to one of those forums, here we can see dated the 13th of November. Uh, that's, I think, the day after Microsoft rolled out the update. That's correct. Um, is once again leading to installation failures. And this is unfortunate because when I posted that video regarding the update, uh, 5048239, I did say that obviously it could cause problems. And it's once again generating the error 0x8007064.3, which was exactly the same error that a lot of users experienced earlier this year with the other update, as mentioned, which was if we head to my um, update history, just to go right down to January, was this update that rolled out 9th, 10th of January, 503441. Now, this is unfortunate. And just a quick video to kind of keep you posted and in the loop if you are experiencing this, this error. Now, first of all, what Microsoft says is that uh, the error is a result of insufficient Windows recovery partition space, and it requires a minimum of 250 megabytes. Now, if I head over to my Windows recovery partition, which is this partition, you can see mine is 900, and the problem is if yours does not have enough free space. So Microsoft says that 250 megabytes of free space in the recovery partition is necessary for the install to be successful. I've always said try and make it a little bit bigger if you have the technical know-how. Now, if you are experiencing this issue and you have the technical know-how, and I'm saying have the technical know-how, because once again, if we head over to Microsoft's documentation on how to fix this error, yeah, we can see regarding the requires 250 megabytes of free space. Um, if you click on instructions to manually resize the partition, I don't think your average Joe and your average home user is going to have the know-how to do this. Okay, but if you do and you want to give it a go, then if the up update is that important, then you can use this um, workaround by Microsoft. Now, if we head back to that article from Microsoft, they also give you a script which you can um, use if you have the technical know-how. And I'll leave this web this web page this web page and this post down below in the and down below in the description and you can try this out as well now obviously your average home user is not going to have the technical know how to do this so what i always suggest is if you are an average home user and you are experiencing this issue you can either just ignore the update or what i like to suggest is you can hard the update with this little program by microsoft called windows update show hard Okay, and I've posted a video on this, and uh, um, I'll leave a link to the video down below in the description and in, in, in the and in the end screen if you are wanting to use this. I think if you are an average home user, um, rather just hard the update if it's not installing. Now I did install successfully for me, because obviously I've got enough um, I've got enough um, recovery partition space, but obviously um, as we can see from those reports that for a lot of users, that is not the case, okay? So there are other forums regarding users complaining that it's not installing. So I personally don't know why Microsoft keeps pushing out these updates. Um, at the end of the day, I don't know what they're actually trying to achieve with them. But nonetheless, just wanted to keep us in the loop. If you are experiencing any issues with KB5048239, as I did warn you when I posted that previous video, if you have the technical know-how, try running those scripts and manually trying to resize your partition or what I would suggest if you don't have the technical know-how, use this tool just to hide the update until Microsoft fixes the issue 
or they roll out another update um, to obviously, um, you know, get around what this update has caused. But I'll keep in the loop if I hear anything more or um, if I get any wind of any information, if you would be interested. And that's obviously issues on Windows 10. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.